How's it going YouTube? It's APOC. Today I'm going to be showing you how to add chroma key to Lens Studio. So you can chroma key anything that uses a material, so 3D objects, screen images, images, GIFs, videos, pictures, anything that can use a material in Lens Studio can be chroma keyed. And by chroma key I mean it takes out that color and makes it transparent. So today we're going to be green screening this plane flying across our screen. So I already downloaded this. It's simply just going to drag this into my resources there. We're done with that. Next, you want to go to this link in the description, or you can go to support.lensstudio.com. Search for chroma space key. Should be the first result. Shout out to Doug Holder for making this. I believe he's the one that made it. I'm not 100% sure, but he's the one that posted it, so I'm assuming he's the one that made it. And all you have to do is scroll down to this blue link here and click on that. It'll download the zip file. Once you have the zip file downloaded, there's an lsmat file inside. Drag that into Lens Studio into your resources. Then delete the textures. You don't need them because they're just examples. Now you have your material in here that's actually going to do the green screening. The next thing you want to do is add our image in. For this instance, we're using a screen image. It could be a 3D model, whatever you're using. It doesn't matter. And you just want to change the material here on this image component or whatever component you're using to be this chroma key. Now you have to set the texture to whatever the texture is going to be. In our case, it's this video. So as you can see, the video has a green screen background now. To change the green screen settings, you have to click on the material. So this material can't be reused across things unless they're all using the same textures and everything. So for every object, you have to make, you just have to like right click duplicate. It's not that hard. So click on material, see these options over here. The first thing you want to do is click on your key color. By default, it's a green that's commonly used, but I like to just click on pick screen color and then click on the actual color I want to chroma key that will give us the best results. Now you change the threshold up to actually start green screening. We're gonna go up just a little bit here, right about there, I think it's pretty good. And you can play around with the slope and everything. I'm actually gonna try and get it to where you can see the glass. And you can play around with this green and blue suppress suppression um, to make it to your liking. So let's see, there we go. That looks pretty good there. I made it a little bit too far, I went purple. Um, so yeah, very simple, super easy to do. Just import the material, change the settings, and you're done, just like that. Just make sure your settings look like this. Don't use a blend mode, obviously, or it's gonna mess things up, just leave it on normal. It works very well. I've used it on many things, and I hope you guys um, find this very helpful because I seem to be sending the link to download this to many people lately, so I decided to make it true. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Link is in the description to download the material. Any questions, comments, or concerns you have, drop in the comments. Uh, peace. That was way too exciting for an outro.